All right, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. We're going to take the mask off for the fucking boot camps, man. All these fucking boot camps, man, be just fucking lying to people, man. Like, I'm not even going to play with you guys. I'm, I'm going to just be honest. Like, yeah, I curse. Yeah, I do this and that. But I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Doesn't matter what boot camp it is. You got to understand they there to make money. They're not there to make you the best developer. They're not there to to say, "Hey, you know, we're trying to teach these people." That's not the reality of things, right? Because they have to pay the bills and, you know, a lot of the the instructors there, they're making like 100 grand, you know, just to to teach you, you know, HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. Some places to teach you Ruby, and it's like really beginner courses. Stuff that you could have gotten online for free, right? Because it's not like you're you're getting a MIT, uh, you know, professor teaching you. You got, you know, the hipster Joe Schmo from the block, you know, from Williamsburg teaching you how to, you know, how to code, you know. It's not really a, a great developer. It's just some dude that they found online and it's like, hey, he applied for it. And he has five years of development and now he's teaching you. And now you're going to come out of your pocket and pay $20,000 or $12,000, $14,000, whatever it is, right? So, plus, a lot of, you know, YouTubers here is, you know, promoting, hey, come to whatever, you know, whatever mountain or whatever academy or whatever this and that. Guys, I'm telling you, like, it's all bullshit. Trust me, man. Now, the question is, can you become a developer in three months? The reality of things, no. That's the reality of things. People take a long time to become a, a developer. It's not, they teach you how to become a programmer. There's a difference between learning to become a programmer. To learn how to become a programmer, you could do that on your own. You don't need to pay somebody to do that. Like, it's not science. This is pretty much just putting in the work in your own house. Even I could tell you what projects you need to do, and that's it. I could be, if anybody hits me up right now, sends me a message, like, hey, give me five projects, and I'll go over them for free. I'll give you five projects, and I'll go over it for free and after you finish them. That's all they're going to teach you in, in, you know, this coding boot camps and whatever. Like, they're not going to teach you anything. So don't go out of your way and spend, you know, $12,000, $20,000, in, in a bullshit, you know, app academy or something like that, or whatever, you know, flat iron school or or learn code academy. Especially when you have, you know, you have other things that online, like you know, codeschool.com, even uh, Team Treehouse, uh, who else? Um, uh, FreeCodeCamp.com, like those guys, like that's free. You can learn how to become a programmer. To become a web developer, a software engineer, to become, you know, um, uh, applications developer, or become an iOS developer, Android developer, that takes time. That's not something that you're going to, you know, you this is not something that you just pick up in one day and say, hey, I have one week of HTML, CSS. Now I know HTML, CSS. It doesn't work like that. You need to put in the time. You need to create the websites. You need to create the, the applications. It's going to take you time. Just like, you know, even for myself, when I was working, when I first got into this, um, I couldn't consider myself a developer until I did like two, three years of like real work, like real professional work. I was a programmer. There's a big difference. You become a programmer by yourself. You don't need to pay somebody to give you that title. Hey, programmer. You could do that by yourself. So it gets me pissed off when people come and tell you, hey, you're in three months, you could become a, a web developer or you could come up and become a, a software engineer, this and that. No, you can't. That's the reality of things. And the people that do become, like, let's say a web developer, like a really good web developer out of a boot camp, what they don't tell you is these people have already been programming for years. I had somebody that worked with me, right? This fucking guy had the audacity who actually worked with me before and he went to full stack. Oh, uh, was it? Was it? It was fucking 
Academy, Full Stack Academy, right? He went to Full Stack Academy, and mind you, at that time, I only had like, what, like a year, a year, two years of like, you know, web development. Mind you, this kid has been making programs in Java for like, since junior high school, right? And then he comes to me, he tells me, oh yeah, I've only been coding for, you know, for only like three months. I went to a, a boot camp and, you know, I graduated and, you know, now I have a job here. And I'm like, you know what? Let me do some research. I Google the kid. Uh, ended up that he was like getting awards in, you know, in his high school for programming, right? I'm not going to say his name. Hopefully one day he'll see this video because he's just fucking bullshit. Um, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I am just did three months and I became a, a web developer and this and that. Mind you, this person's been programming for years. You can't even compare. Like, let's say Joe Schmo, who, who's a mechanic, and says, hey, I want to switch up my careers and, and now I want to become a, a web developer and I'm going to do this in three months. Buddy, I'm sorry, but you're not going to become a developer in three months. It's that serious. It's that simple and that serious. Like, you can't become a developer in three months. This boot camps, they're bullshitting you. They're going to teach you how to become a programmer. A programmer, you could do that on yourself by yourself. You don't need somebody to tell you how, how to do if and else statement. You don't need somebody to tell you what a variable is. You don't need somebody to tell you what rest is. You don't need somebody to tell you what Ajax is. You could do that on your own. You know what I mean? So it just really pisses me off how, you know, a lot of people is like, oh, my God, you could do this in three months. You could do this in six months. You're not even a developer yet. Like, at three months, you not even you can't even consider yourself a developer. Like just because you know how to create a variable doesn't make you a developer. You need to have the projects. You need to have the the you know the experience. Because at the same time, it degrades. And also, too, it degrades everybody else who has actually put in work to this. You know what I mean? And to earn those titles, you can't just be like, "Hey, I did three months and and this and that." Like. You know, at this boot camp, App Academy, and now I'm a developer, and now I should get ninety thousand dollars a year or a hundred thousand dollars a year. It doesn't work like that, buddy. You gotta put in the work. You gotta start from the bottom. And like the people that do get those jobs, those guys were not actually brand new developers. Those guys have been doing it for years. Have you noticed, like, you know, the prep work? Like, a lot of people can't even pass the prep work, right? So, like, let's say you're Joe Schmo, the mechanic, and you're trying to pass, get into one of this uh, app academy and this and that, which they say 99%, uh, you know, they get jobs and this and that. Yeah, they get jobs, but it doesn't mean that you're guaranteed $100,000 or $90,000 or whatever, but that's what they advertise. I know a lot of people who went to boot camps and ended up in, like, super junior developer positions, getting $35,000 a year, and they're like, oh, this is not what I, I expected. I thought they were giving out, handing out $100,000 uh, everywhere. No, buddy, like, you got to put in that work. So don't let nobody tell you, hey, sign up for this. Sign up for this other bullshit. Sign up for this. Sign up for this other, what is it, uh, this other bullshit. Like, no. Like, I have nothing against these people, but don't, don't fucking tell people like, hey, you could do this in three months, man. Stop fucking doing that shit, man, because you're not a developer yet until you actually have the experience and you could actually come in and I give you any project and you could build it. If I come in and I tell you, hey, let's say you are a front end developer, I give you a, a, a design and then from there I say, hey. Make this design into from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Make it interactive. Make this thing, you know, uh, doesn't have to be a single page app, but make it look nice. Make it look exactly how the design is. Make it responsive. Then from there, you could call yourself a front end, right? You can't call yourself a web developer until you do the whole back end, too. So then you're talking about dealing with databases. Then you're talking about dealing with a back end language. Like, there's a lot of pieces to this that you know you're only gonna get that with experience 
the idea that yeah you could come in and learn how to program but you're not a developer yet and like it just pisses me off that people is out here like selling people dreams like come on man let's be honest here like you know a lot of people putting a lot of work to get to where they at and the idea to think about like hey I'm gonna sell people dreams and say hey you could do this in three months it's not fair and not not fair uh, to us who busted our ass and basically you know we earned this title and I fit for you guys that it's like not talking about the guys that could do it I'm not talking about the guys that could you know help who who been programming since like high school and just they were a lawyer and then decided to be like oh you know what I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go back to coding cuz I did that too I was in IT but I had already been programming for years already so for me to tell you guys be like hey you know like go ahead and freaking you know sign up for this boot camp because in three months you're gonna be a great developer and you're gonna find a hundred thousand dollar job no, because they're going to freaking ask you a whole bunch of questions, you know, in, in interviews. They're going to be like, hey, do you even know what prototypical inheritance is? Do you even know how to create, you know, classes? Do you know ES6? Do you know uh, Angular? Do you know React? Do you know Vue? Do you know... There's a whole bunch of shit that people ask you for in jobs. And then you're when you're not ready, all you're doing is embarrassing yourself and embarrassing you know the people that that that's interviewing you they're like oh god like we actually brought this guy in and this is not to discourage nobody this is just to let you know this is like a reality check and i'm doing this for you guys because like i wish like when i was like starting i wish somebody would give me a a little wake up call cuz when i started i was like hey i'm going to make $100,000 a year and in reality I started with like thirty five thousand, and it's, I know it's not all about money, but it's like a reality check. It's like, hey, you're expecting this, but the reality of things is you're gonna get this as a start. Why? Because you you just doing this, you know, in, in three months. There's a lot of companies who don't even, you know, don't even uh, hire people from boot camps, and you know, another thing too is. Let's say App Academy. I think they do like Ruby, right? Ruby on Rails. Let's say an example. Them, right? You coming from Tennessee, right? You come from Tennessee and you move to San Francisco to go to App Academy, right? You go to App Academy. You're there studying. Uh, you do your little bullshit three months. After you do your bullshit three months, you realize like, hey, I'm going to go back to Tennessee. But when you go back to Tennessee, what they do is over there is uh, C Sharp. Let's say .NET. All the, the companies over there is .NET, right? Or let's say they're only doing Node.js, but you only focus on Ruby on Rails. And they only show you a little bit of basics and, you know, and whatever. But you don't have enough enough experience to... You know, to be able to get those jobs. So now you're home and you're like, fuck, man. I'm in Tennessee. I can't even find a job. I spent $20,000 for no reason. And then now you got to go back to your, you know, become being a, a mechanic back again. Because somebody sold you a dream. When you could have done that shit, you could have learned how to program in your own house. Spend that whole year of learning, you know, learning how to become a programmer. And, you know, learning all the skills that you needed to do. Just give yourself a year. Don't give yourself three months because three months is not enough time for you to become a, a decent web developer or even somebody experienced uh, iOS, whatever. Like, yeah, this there's going to be the exception. But you could never think, hey, I'm the exception. If you're the exception, that happens to you naturally. Now, for, uh, you know, us regular people, you know, it happens like with hard work. You're not gonna become this, you know, uh, fucking Mark Zuckerberg from one day to another just because you went to a boot camp, just because you did three months, and especially getting yourself in debt. Like twenty thousand dollars, I don't know to you guys, but it's a lot of money. 
to be throwing it out like that. And I'm just saying, like, I, I as a developer who actually been doing this for years now, I'm going on my fifth year now, right? And I mean professionally. I used to do this when I was like 14. But professionally, I have five years doing this stuff. But I'm just being honest with you guys, man. I want to I wanna be, you know, the wake-up call where I'm telling you guys like, hey, lower your expectations and don't give these guys no money, man. This guys, this guy, this guy, definitely this guys, they don't deserve your money, man. You could do that on your own. Give yourself, trust yourself. Trust me. Trust yourself and go ahead and, and just, you know, invest in your own time to learning how to code. Here on YouTube, on Udemy, on, um, you know, CodeSchool.com, um, Team Treehouse. I'm not even getting paid from these guys. And I, I'm promoting them because that worked for me, you know, and it, it's just not worth it, man. I'm seeing a lot of people like today, somebody came in. Uh, talking about he's from a boot camp and this and that. He graduated from full stack to another person who graduated from full stack, but wasn't even ready for for the interview. Like he wasn't ready at all. And I, on top of that, doesn't even have a GitHub, doesn't have a, a portfolio, doesn't have no projects. Just with uh, just saying, hey, I graduated from this boot camp. Hire me. And what happened? As soon as he left, everybody was laughing. And inside of me, I felt bad. I was like, damn, man. They fucking put the battery on his back and told him, hey, you're ready in three months when he wasn't. Anyways, man, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video and share it to other people because, you know, yeah, it might be a little bit long, 16 minutes, 17 minutes, but this is just me speaking from the heart and telling you guys the reality of things, man. Don't trust none of this, you know, boot camps, man. You could do this on your own, man. Let me know if you need any help. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video. Just send me a little comment. I'll help you out. There's a lot of people who actually send me messages, and I look over their projects, and I help them out, and I'll teach them exactly what to do, and I'll tell them who, what YouTubers to watch, what uh, website to go to to get uh, new skills. I'll help you out for free. Don't go and waste your money on nobody else for some bullshit, man. I'd rather you keep that money and, you know, buy yourself a brand new MacBook. Like, straight up. All right, guys? I'll see you later. Bow.